Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Hot Tag. I am one of your hosts, John the Madness Thompson. And I am inducted into the NWO Hall of Fame, Jake Ward. And we are excited today. We are talking about the best three NWO members that aren't Hogan, Hall, and Nash. And we've both oh, got... Hogan, Hall, and Nash? What? We're, yeah, we've got to go a bit obscure. We've got to go a bit obscure. We've got a top three. We're going to go back and forth. And let's hope that we've got some fantastic ones. And of course, in the comments, you tell us. Because for me, the NWO was my favorite faction. The music was amazing. Then, you know, wrestling was becoming cool in high school. So when I could wear my NWO shirt to high, underneath my school jumper, oh, wow. I was all for it. I wanted each and every week more and more members to come. I, I am NWO for life. And even back in the day, con uh, contemplated an NWO tattoo. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love that. Look. I think that we have something good going here, being our, our three favorites. There's, there's 45 members of the NWO across time. I don't think that's including NWO Japan. No. So you got 42 people to choose from outside of Paul Nash and Hogan. So there are a lot of guys. And I'm telling you, go look at the big list because there's a lot of people that you're like, I don't remember that. They were in there for like two seconds because the NWO was some kind of weird alien entity that really took on a life of its own. It was beautiful. I'm going to kick us off with our num with my number three, not ours, because I'm hoping it is all different. Because context, madness, and I do not talk about our list. We want raw emotion here, and you always see that on the hot tag. We're coming in at number three, Scott Flash Norton. Scott Flash Norton. It was one of the ones before the giant came in. He was a heavy. That come in. He was about 11th or 12th that, to, to come in. He was just cool. He was a heavy. He was able to support the second tier. And he was a good job guy. Even though I didn't want Scott Norton to be a job guy. But he was just coming in and, and getting the job done. Good heavy. Looked cool. Just went about it. Just big, brute guy. I just, I, I love Scott. I love Scott Norton when he was fire. And I loved when Scott Norton joined the NWO. Look, Scott Norton to me, when I was watching that, his, his early times in WCW, I was like, I know wrestling isn't real, but Scott Norton is really a mean guy. Like, that's what <laughs> I thought when I was a kid. Because he, he sold it like he was a mean dude. I love Scott. Scott Norton is also my number three. No! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Scott Norton's the man. Scott Norton, throwing it out there. Come on the show with the hot tag and tell us some NWO stories. That is for sure. Oh, I loved him. I loved him. Hardly smiled. Always wore the shades. Was just a big, big unit to come in. That's awesome. That is awesome. Criminally That's good. underused. Criminally underused and just, and just, in my opinion, poorly used. Could have done so much more with Scott Norton. But he, he did have a good career in Japan. Yes. We just didn't really get to see it. Yeah, he was brilliant. All right, let's see how number two goes. My number two, you may need to just turn up the volume because holla if you hear me. I'm talking about Big Papa Pump. Big Papa Pump. I loved it all because you saw his body changing and he was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and he did the complete, you know, turn into a shit person and, you know, dyed the hair and things like that and, and really personified as a character and turned on his own brother to get into the NWO. I loved it. He personified everything that was NWO. He was cool. He was tough. He was a mega star. Even back when I was doing fig feds as an eight, nine year old, Scott Steiner a few times won my world championship. He was just, I loved the whole character, the big bad booty daddy. Loved everything about it. And he was just such a cool addition to the NWA. It made sense, the transition that they did. He was perfect for it. He's my number two. Yeah, I, I, I can't disagree. It's, it's a great pick. I think, uh, you know, he, he really w was utilized well. But 
my number two is nine. My number two is a guy who proved himself. A guy who had been around for a long time. A guy whose record, might I say, was perfect. The Ooh. one and only Kurt Hennig. Oh, really good pick there. He uh, I was, took Arn Anderson's spot and then turned on him at War Games. Right? So I was so happy. To see Mr. Perfect, because Mr. Perfect was, he, I didn't know Kurt Hennig from the Kurt Hennig days at that point in time in the AWA. I just knew about Mr. Perfect. And then he was gone from WWF. And I'm like, oh, he was my favorite bad guy. Hmm. And then it was like Kurt Hennig was, was back, but he was really Mr. Perfect, yeah. right? He, he was still doing that thing. And I, I continued to like him even more after the NWO stint. But I was really glad that they had those guys that were just, sleazy you know him and him dibiase was kind of in there too where they're just kind of like oh stay away from these guys i just every time kurt hennig opened his mouth something funny comes out of it and and he just plays it off so well oh perfect pick if i say so myself love kurt hennig in oh, in any group he was good in the um west Texas uh rednecks as well he was quite mm -hmm. funny there now my number one Fun fact, I bumped into this person on my honeymoon. What? On my, I had my honeymoon at WrestleMania 34. Shout out to Mrs. Ward for allowing that. Bumped into him on Bourbon Street, New Amazing. Orleans. And for this, for me, this pick, once again, it was turning on your tag team partner. It was done really well. This person is just in love with himself. Always found a way to find the camera. He just teamed up well with my number three pick. I think we all know where this is going. He was the stuff. It was Buff Bagwell. Buff Bagwell was one of my favorite NWO members of all time. And if we did it, he would almost sneak into my top three Actual NWO members, including Hogan Hall and Nash, I loved him. He was everything the NWO was about. He was a WCW guy. He was clean shaven, clean skin, and then the evil black and white got in his head. And then he was in love with himself. And he got this persona, flexing the muscles, turns on Scotty Riggs. And then Look. just had, you know, the he just had it. He was buff, and he was the stuff I loved, loved. And he, he is my number one pick. I cannot believe that he's your number one. I would put Judy Bagwell above Buff Wet Bagwell. Ah, <laughs> oh, get off it. Get off it. You're dreaming. He's Buff and he's the stuff. The only thing I liked about Buff Bagwell is when he wore that hat. It was like a top hat and it was like NWO spray painted. That was pretty cool. Otherwise, I freaking hated Buff Bagwell. I thought he was the biggest idiot ever. He <laughs> sucked. But as much as I hate that, a lot of people are going to hate my number one. And I got this because last night I was just laying in bed and I started, my wife was just saying, you know what you are? You are just a sexy boy. Shawn Michaels, ladies and gentlemen, from NWO 2000. He's just a sexy boy. He's coming in. Back with his boys, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. And they're doing it big time, baby. DX, get out of here. Shawn Michaels, NWO, forget about it. Well, I've definitely won this round. My choices are way better. Thank you, Madness, for ruining this whole video. That is a terrible number one pick. You're talking about Judy Bagwell, and you come in here with Sexy Boy. He had no being. He was only in there for a cup of coffee. He was shouldn't even be classified. Oh, I'm going to hack into Wikipedia and get rid of it. Oh, he's confident about his pick. The NWO, his pick, Shawn Michaels, I've picked. Buff Bagwell. Sean sure Michaels is one of the greatest the wrestlers of all time. Get in the comments. Tell the madness how wrong he is. Tell him how much he's ruined this video. Are you telling me you're going with... I, nobody in the comments better go with Buff Bagwell over Shawn Michaels. That's all I got to say. Not as a wrestler, as an NWO member. Buff Bagwell did so much more. He was cooler. But I tell you what, these picks were cool. Get in the comments and attack 
the, the international YouTube tag team champions of the world. Let us know everything. Please like, share, and subscribe. Everything, the hot tag. And we are definitely NWO for life. The following announcement has been paid for by the NWO.